down this morning. T-Mobile now saying its CEO, John Ledger, is stepping down when his contract expires at the end of April. Yeah, he's been leading T-Mobile in Bellevue for the last six years and is currently shepherding the company through this merger with Sprint. So Travis is here to talk about this this morning and what this could mean for the Bellevue-based business. Yeah, this could be a big shift in tone. I mean, John Ledger has made a name for himself, um, really as a maverick CEO. If, yeah. I mean, just looking at the pictures of him, you know he's not the regular corner office guy. Right. I mean, he goes on Twitter and he insults competitors. In interviews, he insults competitors. He has big, crazy hair. He wears, like, Batman rings. He dresses flamboyantly. Says his replacement... I mean, could be a little more traditional. Let's okay. just put it that way. Um, the surprise move, though, comes after speculation that Ledger's a leading candidate becoming the next CEO of the troubled real estate tech company, WeWork. Uh, WeWork is looking for a new CEO after its uh, current CEO, Adam Newman, forced out by the company. Um, you know, it had to scrap its uh, initial public offering plans due to concerns about corporate governance and then mounting losses. Ledger, though, in a conference call, told analysts that um, ah, these discussions about WeWork are weird for him. You know, there are rumors out there. He says it's awkward since he had already had a, a you know process in place trying to figure out how the T-Mobile succession plan was going to work out. So he's going to remain at the company. He's going to be on the board. Uh, he's going to still assist the company company as the merger continues with Sprint and this is who's going to replace him current CEO of um, current COO rather and president Mike Seifert um, a little more of a traditional guy like a little, little bit more um, he's been there for the last seven years and Ledger's been mentoring him so maybe teaching him some of his crazy ways but I don't think that it's going to be John Ledger part two uh, and 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 you know and probably that's where T-Mobile needs to be it really did over the last year, six years need to figure itself out he's really credited with saving the company and he, he really did it this big yeah. kind of way, and now the company is perhaps a little more traditional and, and going through this merger. So maybe maybe a more traditional CEO is what the company needs. I mean, and as a, I'm sure as a CEO, as any person, you gotta you gotta be who you are. Right. You, you can't come yeah. in and try and be like the last guy. I right. Mean, it's just not gonna work. I mean, and maybe WeWork needs somebody crazy with Batman rings and long hair and like wild wardrobe. They've had a like, lot I mean, of issues. Exactly. So they they definitely need some help. Maybe it'll be John Ledger. All right, Travis. Thank you. New this morning. The.